Hello everybody and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to talk about how to print a barcode in ASP.NET. Alright, so in this video we're going to explore the process of printing barcodes in ASP.NET web application using the Iron Barcode Library. Uh, for this demonstration I'm, using, I'm utilizing Visual Studio 2022 along with the Iron Barcode Library and we always recommend using the latest version of the Iron Barcode Library and you can find that in the NuGet Package Manager and install it from there. So let's begin by opening the barcode model.cs file, which is located in the models folder. And inside this file, you'll find a public class named barcode model. This class consists of two properties, file name and barcode content. And both, con uh, both properties are strings. So let's navigate to the barcode controller.cs file situated in the controllers folder. And the index method is responsible for returning the index view, while the create barcode get method returns a view that allows us to create a barcode. The create barcode or uh, the create barcode parentheses barcode model model post method accepts a barcode model object and utilizes the iron barcode library to generate a barcode based on the data provided within the model. So the resulting barcode is saved as a JPEG file in the specified path. And in the event of any exceptions, uh, the user is, is redirected to a create barcode view. So moving on, let's explore the create barcode.cshtml file uh, located in the barcode folder within the views folder. So this particular file contains a form that enables users to input values for file name and barcode content. When the user clicks the create button, the form is submitted to the server and the server side code within the barcode controller's create barcode method is responsible for generating the barcode based on the provided inputs. If the barcode is successfully generated, uh, the view will display the generated barcode image. However, if issues arise during the generation process, uh, the user will be redirected back to the create barcode view. So let's go ahead and run the project and patiently wait the output. All right, now let's navigate to the barcode page and provide the desired file name along with the appropriate extension as well as the desired content for the barcode. Once all necessary details are entered, click the create button. And here we have successfully generated barcode. So here you go, Iron Barcode is truly excels in this task. It's indeed a valuable and practical library for barcode generation within the ASP.NET web applications. All right guys, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more useful tutorials from Iron Software.